Jimmy Ellingham last updated 2130, December 8, 2017 Palmerston North bars will continue. Pulling pints until 3 a.m. after an early closing trial was quietly shelved. Editorial Lyca made the ghosts home from the pub, the quiet. Shelving of an idea with worthy intentions has slipped by almost unnoticed. Earlier this year, 12 inner city Palmerston North bars excitedly announced they were closing an hour earlier 2 a.m. rather than 3 a.m. on a trial basis. It was all about reducing the level of alcohol-related trouble the bars, including the town's most popular venues, declared. But recently, the trial dissolved into nothing, despite police recording a drop-in late-night call-outs in the central city. Need more early bar closure trial tanks Palmerston North Bars Club together to curb alcohol abuse with curfew alcohol preloading always been a problem in Manuatu, says hospitality expert The Daily Owner Ricky. Quirk, spokesman for the bars when the move was announced, tried his best to don a metaphorical high-vis vest and spout health and safety speak when explaining why early closings would NT continue. He said more fights were breaking out when staff were clearing the busy bar at the end of the night and there was a rise in disorder on the streets. This is a legitimate concern, but not so much for him. Behind the soothing comments about public safety as the nitty-gritty 2 a.m. closing meant the bar was losing a full complement of drinkers, who may spend up large. Turning them away clearly makes no financial sense. In contrast, Gary Wright, owner of Bubbles and the Fish, was straight up saying it was a business decision to return to the 3 a.m. closing time. And that's the problem with good intentions. Against the cold hard reality of making money, a eh? must for any business, they are worthless. So what's changed in the interim? A bar owners who were concerned about alcohol-related trouble in the CBD now not so bothered. We don't know, because apart from the drop-in police call-outs, were bereft of meaningful information about the effects of the trial. We're also left to wonder what might have been if early closing were given. A proper chance to bed in and change people's behavior long term. Bars have instead decided to focus on the bottom line, as they're entitled to do. From now on though, the hospitality industry could do well to avoid the hackneyed. Old cliche it's prone to of blaming all alcohol-related trouble on preloading. Palmerston North's industry has lost the right to provide virtuous social commentary and will instead stick to its knitting of giving us a venue at which to drink. Cheers to that.